Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I have a very much important and interesting video for you guys. Now elementary OS 7 has been finally released now after one year since the release of the elementary OS 6. It is a huge update for the elementary OS and it is based on Ubuntu 22.04.1. Now what are the changes I will just uh, mention uh, in a few minutes. But before uh, starting the video, you have to understand that elementary OS is a very much good looking and polished operating system and that can uh, look like uh, you can say like Mac OS X. Its icon, its feature are improving uh, with a great speed. So in this video, I will talk about that how you can install the elementary OS 7 in your laptop or in your PC even in the virtual box. And also I will talk about that what are the new features. And in the competition, will elementary OS win? That means compared to the other GNOME based or KDE based desktop environment, is elementary OS good enough to use as a daily driver for the day to day use? So all things I will answer in this video. So don't skip any part of this video and you have to do just one thing, hit the like button of this video, subscribe the channel and hit the notification bell icon. It, it will motivate me to create more videos. Okay, so without further delay, let's jump into our main topic today. Alright guys, so first of all, I'm showing you guys that uh, from where you can download the elementary OS. So you can see this is the elementary OS homepage, uh, HTTPS uh, elementary.io and this is, you can see, this is just look, look like the Mac OS X. And now here, uh, you, have, you can purchase with some donation or you just uh, enter the custom and enter zero and you can just download elementary OS and you can just directly download from here or this is the uh, magnet link uh, to download via torrent so I'm just going through the torrent okay so you can see I have already downloaded and now you have to make a bootable pen drive either using a Ventoy uh, or, or you, you can using the uh, Rafas if you are uh, using the Windows or, or any type of USB installer uh, you can use that now I have set up in the virtual box okay and you can see uh, this is the setting okay so just I am so name is elementary OS it is Ubuntu based 64 bit okay and uh, in the system you can see I have enabled the EFI so that uh, I can sh uh, I can show you guys how to install in the modern computers so base memory so RAM I have given 2 GB and processor I have given 2 CPU and enable PAE and in the display the video memory I have uh, do something okay and uh, and enable 3d acceleration all right and in the storage this is the ISO image of size 2.59 GB you can see that so I have mentioned that and network is net that is the inbuilt network of my laptop okay so let's start and uh, let's uh, boot the system okay so you can see here that uh, try or install elementary OS just hit enter now you can see that this is the live system boot so select the language so I'm choosing the English default okay US English alright so all things default now what you have to do either you can try demo mode but in the demo mode there are some limitations you cannot install any new software okay so you can't fetch all the software in the software center okay and uh, basically uh, this is very much restricted so demo mode okay in compared to the other OS uh, you can actually do anything in the demo mode or live system okay but here uh, this is the not case uh, this is not the case okay so basically so custom install so if you if your system doesn't have any operating system so you can go to just erase the whole disk and install elementary OS 7 if you have other operating system so that you can go for the custom install so you have to make custom manual partitioning okay so you have uh, you need an empty drive and you can create three partition for the UEFI system and two partition for legacy BIOS so I'm just going custom install so basically I have to modify partition first uh, with G parted so I'm just modifying partitions and you can see that this is the unallocated so first of all I have to create create partition table and since I am using UEFI so my partition will be GPT 
so gpt partition table okay now it uh, it has created gpt partition table and now i have to create three partitions okay so the first partition i have to create so new and i am giving almost uh, 20 gb so you can see that this is the size 20 gb i have given for the ext4 file system and uh, all right so ext4 and the second one i have to create 500 mb okay so 500 almost 500 mb esp partition so basically and the type will be fat32 file system so this will be our esp partition and third one will be the linux swap So all these three partitions I have created and just hit apply all operations and apply. And you can see the partition is creating. Okay, so all done. So I have done the partitioning. Okay, here in FAT32, basically I can manage flags and I can enable the ESP flag because this will be the ESP partition which will be required to boot the system okay so these flags are on boot and ESP right all right and you can see now that partition has been created so this partition, it is uh, ext4 and this will be used at root, okay, that's fine. And this partition, this will be our ESP partition, okay, so boot EFI, all right. And this partition will be used as swap, okay, so nicely detected. And now erase and install, click here. And you can see now the installation has been started okay so you have to wait for a few minutes i am just pausing the video uh, you are getting the grub 2.06 version and elementary os 7 so just hit enter now you can see select a language so english i am choosing all right so all things will be in english now i have to create my uh, username so so this is the full name, username, and I'm choosing password. And this is the device name. Okay, it's right. So finish setup. All right, so you can see uh, that this is the login screen. And I'm just entering my password. Very beautiful login screen. And click and enter. So this is the beautiful uh, elementary OS. Now I can I have to adjust the resolution for it. Just right click in the desktop and display setting. And now here is the setting. Okay, and I have to give the resolution of my full HD laptop. So basically now you can see that uh, welcome to elementary OS so click next and you can choose uh, your look your accent color okay and your light or dark mode you can see or sunset to sunrise mode so this is this is the new uh, thing in the uh, elementary OS 7 so for now I am just going to the default next now you can also turn on the night light okay this is also a new feature and this is the housekeeping so old and temporary files and trash file will be automatically deleted after 30 days okay online accounts next all rights now automatic updates you can turn on but i'm not doing that ready to go now first of all uh, look at the elementary os interface okay it's really nice it, it just uh, look like uh, uh, the mac os system 
okay and it's it's a down panel this dock is amazing okay it's really amazing and this is the application menu and you can see that it's very nice and with the two finger gesture basically i can i can i can switch like this all right and uh, now basically uh, this is this is the files that is the file manager now elementary os is a complete uh, desktop you can say that because uh, it ships with its own software okay own file manager own app center own text editor own uh, camera app okay all things are own okay so you can see that this is the beautiful file manager and if you right click here so basically you can also select this uh, to double click uh, to double click to open a folder okay by default it is single click and you can see the property and also you can directly compress files uh, from here okay and now uh, this is this is very interesting this is the multitasking view and if you click here and you can see a very nice multitasking view okay now the beautiful thing about the uh, elementary os is that it is very much smooth uh, to use okay in the virtual box uh, the experience is not good of course so this is not made for the virtual box but in the real hardware i have tested it is super smooth this is not using the wayland it is using the x11 but still it is very much smooth okay so multitasking switching is is very much impressive okay and you can see that now the default web browser this is the gnome web or epiphany uh, it is using and now i am right clicking here and i can i can just change the wallpaper okay so very beautiful wallpapers are there you can see that okay so i can enable any of them okay so very beautiful wallpaper wallpaper selection is very much good i can say all right and you can see this is the appearance so uh, you can switch to the uh, dark and light mode so this is the dark mode you can see that and also you can you can uh, give some accent colors so you can enable some accent colors and you can see that right and now uh, tiling is also very good here so if i drag this so you can see this this tiling is very much smooth okay really very much smooth this tiling is and you can see that's very much interesting to look now coming to text so you can increase the text size or decrease the text size from here and dock and panel and you can change the icon size and now coming to the multitasking basically you are getting the hot corners right so in the hot corner so suppose in the bottom right corner i have given uh, so these options are available so this is you can see elementary os7 horus and it is based on ubuntu 22.04.1 linux kernel 5.15 so it is you can see that and this is the hardware information i am using virtual box this is the firmware information so you can check for updates from here also and also there are uh, mouse and touchpad settings so you can see that a really nice settings are there for clicking and now the pointing you can see you can change the cursor you, you can you can enlarge the cursor right all right and gestures these are very much good gestures these are very very important okay the gestures okay so three finger gesture to switch the workspaces now sweep up is the multitasking view okay that's very good and three finger pinch you can zoom okay so very much good options are here and mouse you can see this is the pointer speed natural scoring touchpad so you can see multi touch okay so tapping is enabled and you can see two finger scrolling are enabled and in the power now you can see this is the power management mode so in the real hardware you, you are getting three modes power saver balanced and performance okay here i am getting uh, two options in the virtual box and screen time and limits you can restrict the access uh, for a user okay now coming to the app center so this is drastically improved a lot of uh, new things has been added in the app center especially uh, the look and the information it is providing for a software so suppose i am uh, just going to a specific software 
internet and you can see these are some paid apps and these are free apps okay but the app collection is limited very much limited this is a disappointing thing okay now as it name suggests elementary os so it is just adding the elementary apps okay so uh, the basic apps but i need of course advanced app more apps we need okay and linux has a vast collection of apps but here a <laughs> very few you are getting okay for the web browser you are only uh, getting the gnome web browser no firefox no chromium browser okay not any other browser okay so this is basically a bad thing of course and but now i'm showing you guys that uh, suppose i'm clicking here in the web browser so you are getting a screenshot here okay so beautiful uh, beautiful screenshot you will get here and uh, then some information uh, you can see here uh, providing the last five updates of that software so that you can understand that imagine that uh, how frequently it is uh, developed so of course uh, so if you uh, need uh, elementary things elementary apps so it is good but for the advanced usage this is not good okay i will recommend linux mint or pop os for that okay but here uh, basically you will see that no flat pack is or snaps are uh, pre-installed in this uh, uh, operating system so basically in the app center you will uh, not get any flat have flat pack app or snap apps okay so it is ubuntu based so without snaps it is really bad experience okay and uh, a flat pack is also not enabled by default now my final opinion uh, about the elementary os 7 that if you are linux beginner okay you uh, need a beginner friendly and very much smooth experience so you can try elementary os definitely because it is super smooth super easy to use okay and apps are really eye-catching and really great okay so uh, uh, by the speed okay by the performance and it's beautiful of course it is looking very much beautiful okay so for the basic things you can use elementary os but for the advanced thing like customization and uh, advanced apps okay okay so and and various number of choices uh, for the apps uh, this is not a good choice if you like this video so hit the like button subscribe my channel hit the notification bell icon so thanks for watching guys and see you in the next video very soon till then take care and goodbye